Vikri is going to demonstrate six exercises that you can do together to get ready for a dry land session or an ice session. So the first one is a glute bridge. So laying on your back, feet flat on the floor, knees to the sky. Squeeze your glutes together and bridge up, lifting your hips to the sky. Hold for one to two seconds and then lower back down. Demonstrate it again. And this is something you can do about 10 times, just looking at that posterior activation. A variation of this is single leg. So from this extended position, when you come up, you can either lift the foot or extend the knee, coming into a single leg position, and then lower the hips to the ground and come back up, doing 10 on each side. After activating the glutes in this position, doing about 10 reps, you can come into what's called a dead bug position. So starting in this position for dead bug, the easiest version is just moving one arm at a time, lowering it towards the ground above your head. And then you progress by doing opposite arm, opposite leg. Again, keeping those ribs tucked in, low back flat into the ground. And breathing while you're doing this. So focus on your breath. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring back to center. Different way. And then another variation is to do the same arm, same leg. So if you do right arm, right leg, or left arm, left leg, it'll activate your core in just a little bit different way. Great. So doing about 10 on each side there, and then rolling over onto your stomach. So in this prone position, doing a Superman. So for a Superman, the easiest version is just lifting your arms up off the ground, maybe a little bit of your chest. And then as you get stronger, you can progress to lifting your arms and your legs off the ground. Different variations, doing opposite arm, opposite leg. But all this is looking to increase the activation, increase the strength in your low back. Doing about 10 reps of this holding for one to two seconds, activating that whole posterior chain. The next exercise we want to introduce is the front plank. So there's a lot of different variations of the front plank. You can start on your elbows and knees, coming up, lift being in uh, a plank position, everything nice and strong, holding for about 30 seconds. And as you get stronger, you can progress. You can lift your knees up off the ground. And then you can introduce some movement. You can go up to your hands. You can rock back and forth. This is a lot of different variations. You can go single leg. That way it doesn't get bored. Do a different variation each day. Keep breathing while doing this. And trying to maintain that good core stability, core activation. And then when you get strong, you can start taking, off, taking up an arm and a leg at the same time. The next exercise is a side plank. So if you go to a side plank, again, different variations here. So you can start either from your knees or from your feet. And holding for about 20 to 30 seconds, maintaining good alignment with the shoulder and the elbow. You can do hip dips. You can lift the top leg. Again, lots of variations, doing about 20 to 30 seconds. And making sure you do both sides. 